And I'm here with the video for you guys and girls to help y'all with your artistry, industry, and such. Today, we are talking about the saliva. So why is this saliva thing always happening? This is actually happening due to less saliva, believe it or not. It's when you have like a drier mouth. When it's less saliva, you're going to have more of the stop. The number one way to reduce the saliva inside of your voice recordings is through pronunciation and enunciation. This is something that will help reduce the sounds of the come out of your microphone. So notice how you don't really hear too, too much of the saliva. That is due to opening my mouth and having correct or at least open uh, pronunciation or enunciations. The tongue is doing all of the sounds. And with that, you will reduce the amount of times your tongue will hit the upper part of your mouth. Remember what I said about having dry saliva, not too much saliva? That could be a problem in, you know, the same saliva situations. If you have the dry saliva sound and you want to, you know, help yourself, drink water, all right? You might be thinking to yourself, wait, if I drink more water, wouldn't I produce more saliva? Not entirely, it's gonna, you know, produce sweat, but drinking water will help have that little bit of liquidation within your tongue so you don't have enough for the sounds. That in comparison to the wet, it's, you know, the dry is worse. Now, what if you have too much saliva? That's the case where you end up swallowing. You find yourself swallowing more and more and more pause though. If you do have a lot of saliva or it just feels like too much for you, you can eat salted nuts, all right? Eat nuts. Eat salted nuts. These nuts, just put them in your mouth and suck on them. Especially when it got salt in it, put the nuts in your mouth and you'll be good. Salt will absorb saliva or water. Salt will absorb stuff like that. It's just like a sponge. So by eating salted foods like peanuts, salt and vinegar maybe, you're gonna end up, you know, reducing the amount of saliva in your voice, in your mouth. But Justin, you just said that having saliva is a good thing, but why is having too much saliva a bad thing? You don't wanna drown in your own spit and you don't wanna swallow every two seconds. Yo, I'm hitting the rapping. Sitting, slapping. Having too much saliva build up in your system would, you know, give you those li liquid, liquid, too much liquid kind of thing. Let's say you have too little saliva. You need more saliva because you keep drying up. In that case, you'll have to eat more sugars and more sours. Sour and sugar, that builds up saliva. Oh, and spices as well. Sugar, sour, spicy. All three of those things, not combined, but, you know, if you individually... Those are going to produce more saliva. Sweetness is going to stick in your mouth, so saliva is going to help, you know, bring that down. It's going to help bring it out. Spicy is going to be too hot, so saliva is going to be produced to, you know, balance off that hot thing, you know, the, the, the pH, I'm guessing. And sour is like an acidic, and the same thing goes with the pH scale there. Saliva will help balance that out. So it will all produce saliva. To be able to have a better flow of saliva, this is where you'll eat fibers. So yeah, fiber foods, I guess, wheat, grains, all that. I think I said bread with sugars, but yeah, that stuff will help produce the flow of your saliva. It'll make it better. Just think of it with the same category as sugar, acidics, and whatnot. But the flow is going to help, you know, go through. It's going to produce faster. Take like a good handful of nuts and just shove it in your mouth, you know? Oh, this is not because. That's a lot of nuts!